Hi, welcome to AFTV. It's now time for the roundup. We're outside Emirates, 3 0 win tonight against Bodo Glimt. What player for you? Let's start with this. What player for you? Put in a really good performance say to maybe put on a no knock on Mikarteta's door and say, you know, give me a chance. And on a really stood out for you? You know what? Let me tell you stood out for me, what? right? Marquinas. Oh, that's a name I haven't yes. haven't really heard mentioned today. Even though they every time he got that ball and he's coming down the start down the wing, then they got two uh, two men on him. Yeah. But he did very well. Mm -hmm. He did very well. Oh, he's good in the tackle. Oh, oh. He's he's not frightened. Man, he's moving to the he's moving to them. Yeah. He's yeah. not running away from them. And I'm watching him. And I, for me, out of all those players there, he's a standout player. Yeah. So should we go in forward? You know, when it comes to the next games of the Europa League, you want to see him more involved. I, I, I like, it, not just in the Europa League, I like to see him on the bench. Wow. Mm. I'd like to see him on the bench, but certainly Europa League. And I think he should go up there. Okay. He should. Okay. Absolutely. I heard you just nod there and say, hmm, are you agreeing with him now? Yeah, yeah. He's a player that I've liked from even from the first game. Yeah. And obviously, as you saw, when he played on the, you know, the under 21, under yeah. 23 level, I think they were very impressed with him as well. And as you saw, he was on the bench very shortly <laughs> after. He's a player that I'm very, very, very excited okay, about. Okay, what other players it come to mind today that really stood out for you? Scotty Vieira. Yeah, everyone's like, saying Really, like really it, yeah. good performance. Holding, it's nice to see him get a goal. Yep. He's one of those players that when he comes in, he very rarely lets you down. Mm. Do you know what mm. I mean? He's a very solid player. And I think, you know, with, like um, Kalechi was saying, being a World Cup year, potential injuries, he's one that I think should be very much considered to come into the team. Um, and yeah, I yeah. think along with him, the only one I'm not too sure about at the moment is the goalkeeper. But I think he needs more games and mm. a bit more time to develop. But yeah, yeah overall, really good performance. I think we said they turn the lights yeah. out on us here. Yeah. But let me, let me go to the Bodo fans because they've been here from from we first started doing the fan count. So big yeah. up for staying. And I saw on the telly, I thought, unfortunately I was in the studio, I wasn't here to stay in, but I saw you guys bouncing from minute one yeah. to minute 90. So respect to you guys. I come all the way over there to Norway next week. Yeah. So good I'm going to be in the car. Yeah, good luck. Oh, okay. Good luck. You go. Okay. Good luck. Is that? Yeah. Is that, is that good luck is in the weather or is that good luck is in you, you're confident when we come over uh, to your side? I'm we not are I'm, confident. Yeah, you're confident? Yeah, I'm confident in like uh, the, it's going to be a tough, it's a artificial turf yep. uh, and the weather is going to be shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be cold. You're selling it to me here. Yeah. Because yeah. oh, I've got to bring the big jacket is what yeah, you're saying. Big yeah. jacket. A big purple no, jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some gloves and a hat. Yeah. You need everything. Gloves, everything. Because, you have to bring everything. Can I have a question to you? Because like you were talking here earlier about like who impressed you the most. Yeah. But say for example for us though, we're, we're a really small team. Like if you were to pick out one player from our team, who would you pick? Because oh. we were talking to Robbie earlier and he said a player, I just want to say. Oh, that's a good question. Who really stood out for? I mean, I keep conceding three. Can't really go to the keeper. I think in your midfield, your midfield was quite strong today. I don't know the exact players' names um, if I'm putting on the spot. Hey. But yeah, your, your mid. Go on. Yeah, uh, but Sunderberg. No, Sunderberg. Yeah, okay. no, it's Sunderberg. See, I'm not, I'm not good at pronunciations when it comes to. Uh, no, he's. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, he's good. Yes. Uh, mm. But uh, Berg, he's. Uh, he, uh, we sold him to uh, AC Lens. No, Lens. Lens. Okay. In, uh, in, uh, in Ligue 1. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, he, he's, been a, he's been about. Okay, do you guys think you guys are going to get through and qualify from the Europe from this group stage? Yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> you? Yeah. I, I, think we I, I believe we can grab uh, at the home turf. We can, so, yeah, yeah, we can grab some points. Mm, a lot of uh, points. It's going grab. to be tough. Yeah? Everyone hates playing artificial turf. Yeah. Everyone hates playing in the snow. It's going to be, it's so gonna be snowing. It could not, be. Not next week. It could not, be. Probably not next week. It could okay, be. Guys, 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 no, like, I, I, come on, I don't want to be going out there in the snow. It's not guaranteed, wow. but it could be snowing next week. Yeah, you never, You'd know. never know. I see why the players don't, other players don't like going to Boda because if it's snowing, yeah. oh, yeah. oh my god, yeah. man. It, it, you never know. It, it's really bad. Okay, well, then, listen, big up, guys, and well done for staying all the way through yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, the support you. you guys give for your for your thank club you. is incredible. And I'll see you guys next week. I'll bring the big jacket. I'll make sure. I'll bring the big jacket. Let me come back to the Arsenal fans. Let's go back to the game. A player that you think you know could be knocking on the door for that first team in the Premier League. What player really stood out for you? I'm surprised no one said this. Reese Nelson. Yes, it's good to see him back. I mean, when he come on, like reminded me of Superman. Bro. I mean, the way he was running that play is like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, give him a shout. Why not? Mm -hmm. Reese Nelson. And do I think we're going to beat Liverpool? Yes, I do. Yep. 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. And I'm going to go yeah, to the I next person that. here as well. Yeah. What do you think about Liverpool this Sunday? Are you confident? Yeah, I'm confident. 2-0, easy. I agree with you. 2-0. So we're not going to concede against no, Liverpool no. here at the end. I'll tell you why they're not going to concede, yeah? Three, Look at that, the way they played against Brighton. Yeah, yeah. true. True, true, true. So if they could draw with Brighton, do you think what we're going to do to 
come here next week. Yeah, but they did come back and score a few goals. I'm, I mean, yeah, but you know so much because yeah, they take out Mane from that team. There's such a different yeah, side, yeah. such a different yeah, side, yeah, yeah, yeah. such a different it's side. Two nil or three one. Definitely yeah, two nil. Two nil. They might, they might get a good couple opportunities, but mm -hmm. I have faith in France. Right, right. What about you, my friend? What are you feeling for Sunday against Liverpool? I think we're being disrespectful to them. Yeah. Um, I think they can come and cause damage. Um, look, we lost to United. I know it was a different game because it was counter-attacking and everything. I don't think they're going to set up like that. But I think we can still easily either drop points, like, you know, a draw or even defeat. But I still think we can beat them. Yeah. Um, I'm confident, but I'm not going to be overconfident because I think that's disrespectful to Klopp and Liverpool. I, are we being disrespectful to Bodo as well? In a sense, next week, do you think it'll still be another comfortable win? Or do you think what those no. Bodo fans were saying, you know, the weather, the conditions, that you might be, not be as easy as you expect? No, in these type of games, look at Man United tonight. They were losing 1-0. And then they pulled it back to 3-1 and it was 3-2 and that was away in Cyprus and the conditions are a bit different. I think we'll probably struggle there, but it just depends on the mentality of the players and everything else. The only thing I was upset tonight, Cecil, was why did he not start with Reese Nelson? Yeah, do you know what? I said the same thing. When I, we did a Prince 11 um, in the student, I said I would like to, I, I thought Reese Nelson was going to start. I expect him to start, he didn't. And he didn't even get a lot of minutes if we're being really but, honest. Like for me, I get the uh, Marquinhos playing, why not, he's young and everything. But but with Martinelli, just save him for Sunday yeah. and just let Reese Nelson have you know that time and then bring on Martinelli if you want to. Yeah. That, I, mean, I am a bit worried with that aspect of it. If, he, if any of our big players get injured, especially Gabriel Jesus, yeah. I know we can rely on Eketia in a few games, but in these big games against Liverpool, I'm not sure he can do the damage to them. Definitely. But that, that's it. Thank, Thank you. you, man. Let me get your opinion. Who is your favourite player in today's performance? Who stood out Today? for you? I mean, listen, Vieira and uh, and, and Ketia, they both yes. stood out so, yeah. clearly. But I just want to shout out our fullbacks, you know, uh, Tomiyasu and and Tierney really were solid. And that's as much as we can ask about um, for our fullbacks. And they went forward and honestly, they didn't put a foot wrong. Yeah, we're happy to see Tierney back in. Do you, do you feel like there's not much of a drop when it comes to Zinchenko and Tierney? Or is there it's is there a bit of a gap? High. No, I'd say, honestly, I like both of them. They kind of bring different aspects uh, to our game. But uh, I like them both a lot. And I think it's a bit... Which one more? Which one more? It's, it's, a, it's a bit... <laughs> uh, honestly, okay. I would say uh, Zinchenko for now, but okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. A close second. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's it, hard to tell. They are great, but two quality players. I didn't want to say for Liverpool. I, you know, people are a bit too confident right now. I feel like it's going to be a very tight game. Yeah. Uh, we're, we are prone to slip ups. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent. Listen, if we can keep a clean sheet, I can see us winning one nil. You know, it'll be, it'll be a tight. very tight game. Tight. Uh, and Liverpool are going to have something to prove. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. And let me come to you, my bro. What's up, bro? Standout player today for you, my bro. And then let me know about Liverpool. How are you feeling? Uh, standout player today, I'm going to say probably, I think Eddie was really good. Yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah, he stood out. He um, Hazy's when he came on was top class, honestly. Oh, he's next he's, level. Mate, he's mustard, like, honestly. <laughs> when everything he touches just turns to opportunity. Yeah. And, like, he had me on, on the edge of my seat. And Going to be a big part for Sunday? Do you think, do you think he's going to... Cup, um, add to some of the goals on Sunday? I mean, he might keep, like, Van, Van Dijk's there for the taking. He's been a bit yeah. dodgy. Trent's there for the taking. Yeah. I think Liverpool, like, they're a bit shaky right now. And I think Arsenal fans have been a bit too humble for me. Like, nine wins out of ten. Go on. Listen. Like, Say it. Expectations changed. Like, I know yeah. top four has been our goal, but, like, we're top of the league. Like, everyone's talking about Man City and stuff, but, like, we're above them. Like, Title contenders, mate. I think I, I think I think a conversation's there to be had. I'm not even gonna lie. A oh, no, 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 no. I just, I'm just seeing listen. the energy. I'm just yeah, trying to listen. No. Like we haven't beat anyone like above us because obviously we're at the top. You know, no. you know what I mean. Like flipping no, out. No, like, no, like, I, no, I'm not. I'm just I'm just seeing the energy. So just, you know the fans are being humble. So if, yeah, you, if you feel so. it, then yeah, it's a good good vibes right now around Arsenal. Like you said, we're at the top of the league. Yeah. So F fans think we're gonna fall off. Like we'll see. But like I know people like Arsenal fans after last season's car crash like yeah. um, we're a bit like we're, we're just we're wary we're wary, yeah, we're wary but I feel like this is not a, the same team that like um, finished last season I feel like we've grown from it and I feel like we, we can just yeah. kick on and then give City a run for their money hopefully isn't it? Uh, it's there there it was there it was uh, let me round up with you guys to finish good to see you again as well let me just ask you both your standout players for today and then I want to ask you about Liverpool let's start with standout player I'm going to say Vieira yep um, I thought he controlled it really well that ball for Rob Holding's oh, goal was quality unbelievable laid on the plate for him and uh, he took his goal well so I'd say Vieira Vieira 
I wouldn't say anyone stood out. The game was pretty boring. So because Rob Holding managed to score, um, I'll give it to Rob Holding. A three 0 win. It was it was boring. Let's be honest, it was boring. It was it wasn't Saturday. Um, but, but on Sunday, I mean, it's a Europa League game. There's a North London derby. But but on Sunday. It, it will be entertaining. Okay, so what, so what are you saying about Sunday then? How are you feeling? Are you confident? I'm confident we're going to win. Like last season, I came to a Liverpool game at home when we lost 2 0. Yep. Came with hope. Sunday, we're coming with confidence. We're, we're going to win against Liverpool. We Score. are going to win against Liverpool. Score. <laughs> Energy changed, real quick. <laughs> 2 1. Two we're going to win the confidence and it's going to be entertaining and all that. And now you're in it changed. <laughs> it's gonna, we're going to win 2 1. It's going to be entertaining. Someone will get sent off. It won't be an Arsenal player. But we're going to win 2 1 against Liverpool. And then people will know what we're on. Oh, then people will understand. Like then people what about understand. you, Liverpool Sunday? I'm going to say 2 0. I'm going to say 2 0. Maybe a bit shaky in the second half. They'll come back after we do well. But 2 0 Arsenal, I'd say. Uh, if we win and beat Liverpool, does it send a statement, people, down to the rest of the Premier League? You know, we could be up there. Talking like in the conversation for title contenders, or do you think you know it's still a long season? Everyone's just relaxed, slow down. I think it does definitely sends a statement because everyone keeps thinking we're going to fall off, and so a team like Liverpool, even though they're in bad form, I think that sends a big message. Yeah. Big, big message. Do you agree with that? I think the longer we stay in the conversation, the better. I mean, we've got the World Cup coming up in a month. If we can go into the World Cup, top of the league, we've only got to play Nottingham Forest, Leeds, Southampton, Liverpool. If we can beat Liverpool and then beat those three, where would we be by then? Yeah. Right. Oh. Just, I like the energy around here. Listen, that is it for the fan roundup. Let us know in the comments your opinions and I'll be checking. Like the video if you like the video. We'll see you again on Sunday, people. Take care. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.